Hi Stampers, I'm Sunny Sky and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today I have a great tip for you on how to get five card fronts from one piece of 8.5 by 11 cardstock. So if you have your standard piece of 8.5 by 11 cardstock and you slice it in half, score it again, then you get two card fronts. Now for your next layer down, if you make each piece four, by five and a quarter, whereas this is four and a quarter by five and a half, you can get four off of your piece of cardstock. So you're basically going to cut a half inch off of one side and a half inch off one end and then cut it into quarters. So that would fit very nicely on top of your card. And then your next layer down, you normally would cut another quarter inch down, so it would be three and three-fourths by five, but if you cut it slightly smaller, if you cut it three by five-eighths, and three and three-quarters of course would be three by six-eighths, you see that's not very much difference in the variation there. But you can actually get five of this size on from one sheet of cardstock, and this is often the size that you're going to be stamping on. So let me show you how to do that. If you cut your cardstock at four and seven eighths, the other length of your eight and a half inch sheet will actually be the three and five eighths. So you use the whole width of the cardstock when you do it this way. So three and five eighths. If you cut your cardstock four and seven eighths, you're left with three and five eighths. Then you take this three and five eighths inch strip, cut it into four and a half, four and seven eight inch sections. You'll be left with this small portion at the end that you will toss. And then on the other side that you cut at seven, 4 and 7 eighths, you cut the other portion at 3 and 5 eighths, you get 2, 3 out of that section, you're just left with 1 eighth of an inch on the bottom. So you get 3 from this side and 2 from this side. So you'll get 5 card fronts out of one sheet of cardstock. And that looks really nice. I cut a lot of these ahead of time even when I don't have a card in mind just to keep them in Whisper White. Uh, on file for use. I thought I would show you a card that I've done with this. I've done several copies of this card and you'll see that the white section on the top, it is covered with some DSP and some other elements, but this is that four and seven eighths by three and five eighths, eighths piece of cardstock. So I was able to get five of these out of a piece of cardstock instead of four simply by cutting some of them at the opposite angle. So I hope you enjoyed that tip today. Now go get crafting.